Yo guys, it's Caleb. Um, so, I've been researching about casting um, helmets and um, a lot of the casting videos when you're dealing with silicone, they mention glycerin. Glycerin, right there. And you mix glycerin with the silicone and there's no vi videos all over the internet that explains why you mix glycerin with silicone and I just never understood it um, but I finally did research and I'm finally gonna put a video out explaining why glycerin is mixed with silicone alright so this is a block of silicone okay it's very um, um, wet and stuff right now because the glycerin and stuff but um, so glycerin needs a certain amount not glycerin, silicone needs a certain amount of space or thickness for it to cure because it cures with air. So um, it's about like maybe like a third of an inch or a fourth of an inch. And so when you're making pieces like this of silicone, the middle can't cure because the air is not reaching the middle. So when you cut in half, there'll still be uncured silicone in the middle. So glycerin, the property of glycerin, or glycerin, whatever you'd like to pronounce it as, it has a property to um, absorb water or liquid, and that would help the glycerin, the silicone, cure in the middle instead of it curing throughout the air. So if you're, for example, if you're going to fill this cup with silicone, okay, which this actually was in there, but the middle, if it didn't have glycerin, the middle would be like raw silicone with about like a third of an inch around it that is cured silicone. But if you mix glycerin throughout the silicone, it will make it so the whole um, silicone, whatever you're casting, will cure at the same rate and be done at a faster time and actually will cure. So I hope that helps and that is why you use glycerin to cure and make casts with silicone. Catch you later.